Hi everybody, this is another video about Bartonella. Uh, the last video I posted was uh, from a question or answering some questions that somebody posted on one of my other videos um, about uh, Bartonella and ultimately a uh, question was about neuroinflammation causing you know, emotional outbursts and things like that. And so the second part of the question, uh, I'll just read it from the question here. It says, uh, for those um, suffering from long haul chronic Bartonella, um, have you observed anything that actually helps them with the head to toe 24-7, 365 pain? Um, and I wondered if red light therapy could possibly help with the bone pain. Um, and that's, I think that's ultimately the, the gist of the question. So um, thank you for the question. Um, as per usual, uh, nothing I'm saying should be construed as medical advice. Uh, this is for informational purposes only. And if you need medical advice, please talk to your healthcare provider to get that advice. Um, the pain associated with chronic Bartonella can be really, really devastating for those who don't know that. Uh, I mean, pain from um, other infections and other causes can also be very, very severe, but um, Bartonella is kind of known, uh, maybe has a little bit of a reputation, if you will, um, for sometimes causing really bad pain. I mean, it can be bone pain, it can be uh, neuropathy, it could be other types of pain too, like joint pain and things like that. Um, as far as the, um, you know, things that I've seen to be helpful for my patients with pain. Um, if it's more neuro neuropathic type pain, then there are certain um, supplements that I've found to be helpful, not for every patient, but in a number of patients. Um, in addition to, of course, you know, treating the root cause, actually killing off the Bartonella, getting at the biofilms, this, that, and the other thing. Um, and of course, Bartonella oftentimes is coexisting with other types of um, disease entities as well, like maybe other infectious microbes or mold or heavy metals or various other things like I talk about all the time. So um, just bearing that in mind, of course. But in terms of um, supplements that can help to uh, reduce or in some cases reduce resolved neuropathy associated with Bartonella, um, I found that um, R plus alpha lipoic acid has been helpful for some patients. Um, acetyl L-carnitine has been helpful for some patients. Um, and methyl B12 has been helpful for some patients. Um, quite frankly, since the Bartonella neuropathy can be so um, intense, I usually recommend all three for my patients. I'm recommending them at full sort of robust therapeutic dosages. Um, I apologize in advance because I know there are going to be comments saying, you know, what are the dosages? And I'm sorry, I can't keep that information out over, so over social media because that would be construed as giving up medical advice. Um, but, uh, you know, by all means, uh, talk to your own clinician about this and um, and just say, I need a robust dose of, of those things. And if your clinician doesn't know what those robust doses are, they can email me and, and I will tell them because I can do that, but I just can't give uh, information out to folks who aren't, aren't my patients. Um, so uh, those things, um, I've seen um, any or all of them be helpful. I, again, I usually recommend all three together because I want to just hit things really hard. Um, and, and so those are kind of some of my go-tos. Um, there are other things that will sometimes help, but those are the most consistently helpful things that I've seen. I mean, in some cases, we will do injection therapies, like something called perineural injection therapy, but that's not you know widely available um, compared to, like say, some of those supplements. Um, another thing that I've seen help uh, neuropathy or bone pain um, associated with Bartonella is um, low dose immunotherapy. I sound like a broken record. If you've listened to my other videos, I talk about this on a regular basis. And um, I, as I oftentimes say, in patients who have a hypersensitivity to Bartonella, the LDI can just be the best thing since sliced bread. It's the, the, the best treatment for that if that's what's going on. Not everybody with Bartonella has hypersensitivity to Bartonella, so LDI doesn't always work, but when it does, it can be just a game changer for um, eradicating pain levels that patients are experiencing. Um, so, And then beyond that, just um, adequately or, or, or comprehensively treating Bartonella is something where I see pain levels reducing um, in usually a fairly timely fashion with most patients, not everybody, but most, I would say. Um, and so the question is, is there a comprehensive, comprehensive enough treatment going on? If it's you know, a pharmaceutical regimen, an herbal regimen, a combination of both, um, are there, is there a high enough dose? Is there enough kind of antimicrobial firepower going after that Bartonella? Um, <clears throat> And, and certain IV therapies can help too. Um, intravenous ozone therapy can be helpful for those symptoms in some cases. Um, intravenous alpha lipoic acid can pack more of a punch. Um, and, uh, and, and there are uh, there's also something called intravenous photobiomodulation, but it's just really hard to get access to that. So I won't spend time talking about that. So um, those are some of my thoughts around this topic. Um, my heart goes out to anyone who's suffering with this, you know, 24-7, 365 um, 
Bartonella-induced pain, it, I know it's really awful, um, but I've had many cases where the pain levels have improved significantly using some or all of the above of what I just mentioned. And, um, and, and it's, you know, it's, in my experience, it's a very treatable thing, um, but it can be challenging to get a handle on it sometimes. But with the right approach, it can be really effective. So uh, thank you again for the questions. Um, if uh, you or anyone else has any uh, questions on this topic or anything else, please post in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer as soon as I can.